All right, Eric Rutan from um, Hate Eternal. How's it going? You got a new album coming out soon. Yes, things are going good. We're just uh, rehearsing, practicing, getting ready for tour. This tour's coming through Canada in uh, June. What can we expect in this tour? New uh, songs from the new album? Oh, yeah, we're going to definitely uh, play a bunch of new stuff, a bunch of old stuff, and it's going to be a, a death metal treat because we got four badass death metal bands coming on tour, so I'm really excited about it. What inspired you to record and produce it like this? Uh, you know, I wanted the... I wanted the new Hate Eternal to have like a kind of organic but huge sound at the same time and, you know, um, kind of like wanted it to have a vibe of like older school kind of records but have the clarity of today's standard. And, um, you know, we worked really hard to get great performances and make a record that when you listen to it, it you know, it's like you're, you're listening to a band, a real band playing real music and uh, keeping it real all at the same time. Did you uh, go with different uh, guitar setups this time at all? Um, you know, I went back to, um, like, I, I went back to an amp that I used in the past that I was real happy with, a Marshall JCM-800. Um, and that that and my angle Powerball, that combination really has been my best guitar sound yet. And uh, I won't... I won't deviate from that ever again. I love those two amps to combine. But the Marshall JCM 800 is the amp of choice for me. It just sounds amazing and uh, very clean amp. But if you play hard like I do, you can really capture some great tones. How old is your Marshall, your JCM? Um, jeez, I don't know. I've had it for uh, I've had it for seven or eight years, but it's pretty old. Um, but I've had it for a long time, and. Uh, I enjoy the hell out of it. Sounds great. Do you ever think Marshall will ever grab, you know, that type of style again? I'm not sure. You know, I mean, I have a TSL 2000. I've had a 900 and a TSL, but uh, I don't think anything really captures. I think the 800 is Marshall's best, in my opinion. Uh, it's an amp that's really hard to play, you know, because it's a very clean amp. Mine's not modified or anything, you know, it's just a clean amp but um it's very expressive so somebody like me that plays very dynamically it works it, it allows me to really showcase what i'm doing and uh i don't know they'll have hard work to top the 800 i love the 800 let's say with this uh, album with the tone did you uh, go with certain miking techniques or just you know straight miking uh you know pretty much i mean usually with miking i use like Kind of, I usually use a pair of mics that I always use, but uh, pretty much I use my favorite cabinet, which is a Marshall uh, 1960 straight classic with greenbacks in it. Um, that's kind of my cabinet of choice. Uh, usually I start out with a 57 and just kind of sweep it around the speaker, find the sweet spot, and then go from there. And then I like to use a 421 as well on another speaker um, with some Neve mic prees. Uh, that's really my... Um, line of choice there for my own stuff you're hearing let's say could you identify this amp you know more than you know live setup because you can't bring this i'm sure to your concerts do you no. notice a big difference yeah well you know i end up using like a dsl live and sometimes a Loboga or an angle um because my jcm 800 i don't even want to bring on tour because i just value it so much but uh you know it's as long as i got a marshall in there i'm always happy where did the album title come from Phoenix Amongst the Ashes. Uh, basically came from me wanting to come up with a title that was a representation of uh, where I am and where the band is. And I felt like in a sense that this record was um, kind of a, a continuation and a new beginning from Fury and Flames in a lot of ways. And that's where I felt like with this new album, it was kind of a rebirth of sorts of the band and uh, rejuvenation for me personally um, to do this record. And I wanted something that represented that, hence the um, the Phoenix and uh, the mythology based around the Phoenix and the con concepts around that. But I feel like we have, I still feel like we have so much more to offer and so much more to do. And that's why I felt like Phoenix uh, amongst the ashes represents where we're at. We're in the b rebuilding process and, um, but still has not taken flight yet, in my opinion. I think we're just we're just really doing 
we're just really starting to come in. You know, I feel like with this new record, it really we're really coming into our own with this record, and I look forward to creating more and more records with this band. With your set list, uh, let's say when you go on tour, how are you going to be devising the songs now? Well, I mean, you know, since we're touring a new record, I'll have a bunch of new re songs out, and I try to balance out all the other records. You know, um, it's tough. You know, you start getting more and more records. Obviously, you gotta. It gets harder and harder to make a set list, but I do like to balance out. Um, you know, older stuff and with some newer stuff as well. But with this record, we're definitely going to have, uh, you know, we're definitely going to have a bunch of new songs as well as old. Since you you were in the Morbid Angel, you know, uh, era, have you uh, taken a listen to their new uh, upcoming release? Well, I recorded uh, the drums for some of the new Morbid records, so I have heard some of it, but uh, I haven't heard the whole record yet. Uh, but the stuff that I did record, I thought was awesome, so... Um, I recorded six songs of drums for the new Morbid Angel record, and the songs I recorded I thought were classic, great Morbid Angel songs. Why do you think it has been so long since we've seen a Morbid Angel album? I don't know. You'd probably you'd really have to ask them to, to get that opinion. Uh, but I know that Trey and David, they're very specific about how they want to do things and how they want to write stuff, and they're very picky and they're professionals. They do what they got to do to make the best record they can, so... I'm sure that they just wanted to make sure that this record was everything they wanted it to be. Let's say with the internet and stuff, what do you think of that for promotion to these days? Um, I think that, you know, the internet is a great tool uh, for sure. You know, I mean, it is a great tool. It's also um, means there's a lot more bands getting a lot more exposure, so it's it's a lot harder to get out there, I think, for newer bands. It's easier that you get the exposure, but it's harder to get people to take you at face value. Um, but I think the internet certainly is a great tool to expand and get things out there for, for people. Um, so, you know, it's, it, there's plus and minuses with it, just like anything else, I think. Would you say like it sells more, you know, merchandise, you know, online, having your little store compared sure. to, you know, working at the venue trying to sell? Uh, I don't know about that. You know, most people, I think still wait to come and tour and buy merch. It seems like, but, um, Either way, it's all helpful, I think. It's all a good thing. Well, let me just tell you, your, your album is a killer sound. The quality is great, great, great. And oh, the speed, you. you know, and it always keeps on getting faster. I, you know, it's like with this record, we, the, 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 well, first of all, the production came out really the closest that I've ever gotten to with the band. Uh, it really came out the way I wanted it, which was raw, organic, but modern at the same time kind of a, a mix um and you know i guess with the songwriting and stuff it's like the aggressive stuff the intense fast stuff is fast as shit but but then we've got all this heavy dynamic stuff as well and you know um even some more melody in there and and i think we just tried to come up with 10 songs that really made an impact from beginning to end um And that's what I'm most proud of is that I feel like this is an album you need to listen to from beginning to end to really capture everything this album has to offer. But I'm super proud of it, man. It's like going back to the early days of, you know, the the days of vinyl when you had to actually listen to the whole album. Yeah. I mean, those those are definitely the good old days, you know. I, I think that a lot of people now, they listen to one song and move on or two songs. But I, I feel like with this new Hate Eternal record that it is something that really you need to listen to from beginning to end because you're going to miss something so i think it's really important that that people listen to the whole thing keep up the great work and uh have a great tour ah uh, thank you so much man look forward to hoping to meet you up there man i can't wait to get back to canada all right well you have a good uh summer all right thank you you too take care